The Ross Ice Shelf is the largest lump of floating ice in the world. So little is known, the surface of Pluto has much better imagery than what's beneath the Ross Ice Shelf. It's a lot of new stuff that we're going to discover. No one's ever done this before. It's exploration. It's going to be interesting. From this point on, we've got four hours before we get to the shear zone. I mean, very gingerly make our way through um, what's essentially a minefield of crevasses. Knowing that it's it's my responsibility to make sure that everybody can get back to Scott Bay safely, it's a huge, huge deal. But where we're driving to is, is pretty much directly south, which is where the storm system's going to come in from. I guess you're always hoping it's not going to be as bad as it's forecasted. It might blow out and, and we'll have fine, good, reasonably good weather, but years worth of planning gone into these events, so getting moving and, and seeing how it goes is kind of part of part of how it has to work down in Antarctica. These haglings is pretty tough. They're tracked vehicles. They share similarities with tanks. They're really well suited for what we need them to do. Well, I'm looking at this white expanse of nothing, and it's a bit creepy. I'm seeing a lot of white. Going to get pretty used to seeing a lot of white. It's a hugely important ice shelf, so I'm just curious about what drives it, what keeps it where it is, why it's there in the first place. Really gives you that perspective that we're quite a small fish in the in the grand scheme of things, and Mother Nature really has control here. I keep saying in my head, everything will be fine, don't worry about it. But it's not you that makes the decisions here, it's Antarctica. <laughs>